Holiday travel is in high gear, but the weather, especially on the continent, may put the brakes on some of our plans. Mike Valerio shows us the dramatic weather systems and explains what the FAA is doing to make flying a little easier. I got a nine-year-old who's freaking out. It's like, what if we have to leave? It's just like, I'll carry you on my back. So that's what I do. Means Androscoggin River raging from above a spectacular sight, but on the ground across the state. Alarms in Augusta on Tuesday. The Kennebec River, one of many scenes where roads were impassable. And that continued on Wednesday with water rescues in Casco. This heading into a weekend when many would forge ahead with Christmas travel, some families instead continuing to dry out from earlier in the week. Got up at 3.30 and it was about ankle deep in my driveway. Moved the cars up the hill to prevent damage. And now uh, where my driveway is, my landlord has a sedan and you got about that much of the sedan showing. Out west, there's the cleanup in California. The water in Santa Barbara just inches from this Ford's headlights. My car is done. My car and the garage are done. My two cars in the driveway, they're, they're totally flooded. Flood watches in Southern California extending into Friday as Arizona braces for the effects of this same atmospheric river. At Baltimore Washington International Airport, TSA agents going a cappella. Feliz Navidad as the FAA is also hoping to make travel a little smoother. Good day. It's opening military airspace to commercial planes over the holidays, specifically opening 169 new East Coast routes to keep crunch time Christmas air traffic moving smoothly. I'm Mike Valerio reporting.